Hello, gorgeous soul. Welcome to your July tarot reading. Don't worry. There is still going to be an astrology reading. That will probably go up tomorrow or the next day. But this is just for you tarot lovers to have your intuitive tarot reading. So even though it's July, I believe in the magic of synchronicity. So if you choose your sign, this may be valid to you if you watch it after July. So, you know, see what resonates with you. See what comes to you, what feels intuitively right. But on top of that, use your own intuition. If you see a card, let that card speak to you. See which cards leap out at you. It's all in a mixture of magic between me, you and the cosmos. Here's your monthly tarot reading. Gemini, 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 let's see what July magic has to offer you. What's going on? Let's see if there's any solutions and uh, surprises in store. Okay, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. July, July, July. Okay, Gemini, first of all, you have the Knight of Cups, what's in the centre of your spread, which is actually um, a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio, or you opening up your emotions in some way. What's crossing that for good or bad is justice, a major arcana. What's beneath you is the Three of Pentacles. What's behind you is the Two of Pentacles. What's above you is the Five of Pentacles. What's in front of you is the Queen of Cups. Then you have the Hangman um, is rising up, and you've got the King of Cups. And you've got the lovers and you've got the empress, the seven of swords and the four of wands. Okay, first of all, the knight of cups. Is there someone around you that's a cancer, Pisces or Scorpio? Or somebody who's very emotional, uh, very affectionate, perhaps very charming, potentially too charming? I don't know. There's so much of this water sign energy around you um, that it... it, it I would imagine that it's someone else, unless you're going through a time where you're expressing yourself in a very emotional way. So what does this energy mean to you? Intuition, emotion, flowing, expressing your emotions. Um, this energy is on your mind and it could be connected to a love relationship or a close friendship where you're talking about intense emotions. So even if they're not a water sign, there's a com conversations about feelings. What's crossing you is justice. And I want to pull a card on that because it's such a strong major arcana. It can mean a legal issue. It can mean a contract coming your way, something that you want. And, and it feels like justice is done because you're coming up as the high priestess here. So your intuition is leading you to uh, an outcome that is right, where you feel, yes, I was right about that. My intuition told me that. And you're opening up through either a contract or an opportunity or a legal situation for you to go, right, I'm now in my power. Now that's resolved, I'm in my power. And if it is a contract, looks good to me. So those are very, very powerful cards to be there, but there's some celebration around it. So it's not a negative legal issue or an injustice. It feels like, yes, I've resolved something and I feel fabulous. Now, what's in your unconscious and the root of this, this reading is the three of pentacles. So you're digging foundations in July to build something really strong. And these middle cards would really play into that. It's like, oh, you're in your power. You're in your intuition. Justice is done. You're on your way and you feel empowered. Um, you may have been going through a uh, in the recent past, trying to balance things, trying to juggle things. Also, you might have been thinking about traveling and changes, but you're you're moving through now to making some decisions. Now, there's one tricky thing in this reading that I see. I'm an Aries, I like to jump ahead. And that is in your outcome, you've got the Seven of Swords. Now, I will always bring up, because I, I don't believe there's anything negative in a reading. So, okay, that is the trickster. You're feeling as if somebody's trying to cheat you in some way or lie to you in some way. What's good about that, Michelle? Well, I tell you this, it's better to know than not know. And actually, sometimes we can think someone's doing that and they're not doing it. You've got next to that, and I, even when there's like a negative card, if there's a powerful major arcana next to that card, that to me means, you know, you can more than deal with it. You are the empress. That is the seven of cards. Uh, but this could be to do with your home and family. It could be to do with a, a move or something to do with property or a family member. And it's like, oh, if it is connected to any of those things, obviously that's a kind of primal area, isn't it? Our home and the people that we love are very oof, there for us. So what do you think this is? Well, it may be... I think it's connected to someone younger 
again, this water sign energy is coming up really strong in this reading. So if it's um, somebody younger in your life, either a, ch a child or someone that is has difficulties with boundaries, you you can see it because you're the empress. And then you've got temperance, another major arcana. So when we when we are younger, we and when there is drama around. And if, even if you are young, if you handle drama with adding fuel and petrol onto the drama fire, you know, it's very difficult to bring things to an instant re re resolution. But you, you are coming up in this particular reading as the empress, again, regardless of, of gender. So you're caring, you're nurturing, you're understanding, you're seeing why someone's being a bit of a dick. And you're able to handle it within your power and balance up what's going on, i.e., if this happens... Don't let it get to you because when you when you handle it in your power, it dissipates it and you're just sort of almost watching it and going, right, well, okay, well, I can see what you're doing. Um, yes, there may be kind of tower energy connected to that, but I truly believe that doesn't have to happen and that may be how you would have handled it in the past if you'd have pulled the flames on the drama of the fire. So please listen to this. Even if it's one of you that this is right for, don't, if somebody is upsetting you, do not, let it get to a point where you lose your call. Be the empress and all is well. And you're moving on to a, a brand new vibe. And then actually, it could even be a flash in the plan because then you've got the two of cups. Resolution, uh, equal friendship, relationship, just, you know, a great deal of support around you. And you heading down a new path. So clearly, there's some intensity there connected to home and family or someone close to you. But, you know, you are moving through it and probably I'm not telling you anything new anyway. I'm just going to reshuffle and pull three more cards for you. So we seem to have got caught up in one situation there. And let's have a look what else is happening. And let's face it, in all of our intimate relationships, there are times when there is drama. Although my wife is a Gemini. <laughs> And she's filming me with one eyebrow raised. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. And I would go, but be the empress, just love me if I ever am a dick to you. Okay, hold on. Let's, uh, which I'm not. Okay, let's go. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Let me pull three more cards. Yep, judgment's come up again. Justice has come up again. There is great wonder and magic and opportunity for you in July. Oh, you've also got um, the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups. I would say there's an offer of something fabulous coming. And towards the end of, end of July, you've got the Lovers, which is passion and intensity, getting your passion for life back and the potential of great stuff around a relationship. But having all these Aces and all these Major Arcana is very, very positive news. It's up to you how you handle any situations that you feel sensitive about and also what boundaries you put up if you feel that somebody is not behaving in the correct way. Ultimately, this is a fabulous month and oh, you've got all this opportunity there. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Don't forget to come visit me on Instagram at Michelle Knight, Michelle with one L, and on Facebook where I do lots of lives and you may even get a live tarot reading from me individually Michelle Knight Astrologer, and of course, my website, michellenight.com, if you want a reading with one of my fabulous psychics. So much love to you.